In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2O plus H2O. This is sodium oxide plus water. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. You can see I have two sodium atoms here and just one here. So I'll put a two over here. When I do that, I have two oxygens, two oxygens here, and two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we write the states for each substance. Sodium oxide, that is a solid. Water is a liquid. And we're going to assume that we have excess water here so that the sodium hydroxide will be dissolved in water. That means it would be aqueous. Sodium compounds, very soluble. So once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't split solids apart when we have net ionic equations. So that's just going to be Na2O solid plus we don't split liquids apart h2o that'll be a liquid and we'll end up with sodium that has a one plus charge it's in group one on the periodic table the hydroxide the whole thing is one minus so we have two sodium ions those will be aqueous and then we have two of the hydroxide ions which will also be aqueous so the complete ionic equation for Na2O plus H2O is right here. We can now cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. Thing is, there aren't any spectator ions. Everything on each side is unique. So the complete ionic equation, that's the same as the net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium oxide plus water. You note that charge is balanced because we have everything here neutral, and on this side, 2 plus and 2 minus, that gives a net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na2O plus H2O. Thanks for watching.